how is it going everybody you're watching then about tech and today let's talk about iphone charging like how should you charge your iphone and i know this may seem extremely obvious like why am i even doing this why am i even talking about this but trust me there's a lot to cover here like for example how often should you charge your iphone or for how many hours or even uh, what power brick should i use because there are so many different ones uh so we're going to talk about much more than that like battery cycles battery health optimized battery charging there's a ton here to cover and the goal of this video is to make you charge your iphone the best way possible and of course debunk a few myths as well and make your battery uh last much much longer so without further ado let's begin so first things first everything i'm gonna tell you in this video uh, comes straight from apple support website i'm gonna have a link in the description if you want to check it out they have a full section on batteries and things like that so it's not something that i made up or anything like that it's all backed up by apple so this is truly important so the first thing i want to talk about in this video is a big myth and a lot of people still believe in this and trust this which is like uh, how often should i charge my iphone for how many hours at what percentage at what point let me tell you, you can charge your iPhone whenever you want. Okay, this is very, very important. So uh, iPhones use lithium ion battery. That's the technology they use. And that allows you to actually charge your iPhone at your will. So for how many hours you want, uh, like the whole night, for example, that doesn't matter. You don't need to charge your iPhone at a specific percentage. No, you can charge it at, at the percentage you want. So do it as you will. Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, the way you charge your iPhone will not influence on the battery uh, health or wearing out or anything like that okay you can charge just as you feel like it like i want to charge it today for 10 percent tomorrow for for 100 percent like this night i'm gonna leave it plugged in the whole night or maybe i just want to get 20 percent very quickly before i go out you can charge at your will so this will not affect your battery in any way okay this is very important but what will affect your battery is actually the accessories you use so i recommend and everyone recommends that you use Apple authentic accessories. So uh, authentic uh, power bricks and authentic cables as well. Use the ones that come in the box or that you bought in an, at an Apple store or at a retailers or something like that, but use an authentic one. Because uh, if you use authentic accessories, that will actually give you a faster charging time and also a more stable current, meaning that it will not damage your battery. If you use non-official, non-authentic cables and power bricks and things like that, that can in fact uh, damage your battery or your font or something like that, okay? Another thing that is very important and people ask me a lot is, uh, what power brick should I use to charge my iPhone? You can use any power brick from Apple that you want. Uh, the small one from five watts, so that very basic one that comes in pretty much all iPhone models, the teeny tiny one, uh, or you can use, of course, uh, the most powerful ones that come in, in the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, which is this one right here, the 18 watts. That's the same that comes with the new iPad Pros. Or you can even use like this one, for example. This is a MacBook Pro uh, power brick. Okay, that's, uh, let me see, actually. That's exactly 61 watts. So 61. So the iPhone can handle it. Or you can even use the 87 watt that comes in big bigger macbook pros as well your iphone can handle it it doesn't matter because even if it pushes more power through your iphone it actually uses the computer and the cpu to actually only get the energy it needs so you don't need to worry about that you can use any power brick from apple that you want from 5 watts to 87 watts that's not a problem uh the only good thing is if you have uh let's say an iphone 8 or later uh, or newer actually, so in iPhone 8 uh, all the way to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you can get the benefit of fast charging. But of course, you're gonna need uh, a smaller, bigger power brick. So uh, in 18 watts or bigger. So if you have an 18 watts uh, charger or bigger, you can benefit from fast charging, which will get you like 50% uh, of battery in 30 minutes. Uh, in my testings, it gets even more than that. You can get even more than that. So this is very cool. But keep in mind, you need to have an iPhone 8 or later and an 18 watt adapter or later. If you don't know exactly how to check that, uh, you can see the information in the box. Uh, you can see the information right here in the printed letters, very small there. You can have a look. So uh, there's there are easy ways to find that. A quick note is that the only iPhone that comes in the box with a fast charger is the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. They come with the 18 watt uh, power adapter, power brick, 
in the box okay so we don't need to actually buy anything extra if you want to get fast charging in all other iphones that are compatible you actually need to buy the adapter and the cable separately but the iphone 11 pro and 11 pro max already have that in the box with the original accessories now let's talk about more technical stuff and let's start talking about optimized battery charging this is super cool and a lot of people have that turned on in their settings but they have no idea what it does so if you if your iphone is uh, running ios 13 okay or later depending on when you're watching this video you can go to settings battery and you can enable optimized battery charging and you have to understand that this is a very very important feature and you have to leave it turned on why let me explain because uh in order for your iphone to maintain the battery at 100 while it is plugged in while it is being charged it means that it will wear your battery out so let's say uh, you charge your phone every night like most people do so you go to sleep you plug it in and then you go to sleep and you wake up like six seven eight hours later so uh it's gonna be charged at 100 percent throughout all those hours so throughout six like five or four hours more or less is going to be at 100 percent and your iphone is going to constantly be charged and maintaining that 100 percent level that for the battery is very very bad because as i said maintaining your battery at 100 percent is very bad for your battery it degrades the battery so what optimized battery uh what optimized charging does is it will actually keep your iphone at 80 percent the battery at 80 percent over hours and hours and hours and just before you wake up it's going to use that via machine learning and check your alarm clock and things like that uh, so right before you wake up it's going to actually go from 80 to 100 so charge the last 20 percent so with that uh keeping your iphone only charged at 80 percent not 100 that will actually help your battery life have a bigger lifespan uh, not degrade not wear out so fast so this is what it does. It keeps your iPhone at 80% and only gives you the 20 plus, the 20 extra when you actually need it. So this is how it works. Now let's talk about battery aging, more specifically battery health. Again, you can go to settings, battery, and check your battery health under settings and see uh, what percentage of your battery health your iPhone still has, like 95%, 98, uh, 90, 85, 80, 75, it depends it depends on how old your iphone is and a lot of people think that you can stop that aging or you can make it age super slow actually you can't of course there are ways that you can have your battery age a little bit slower than others but you can't really affect uh your battery aging so much let me explain how it works your battery will start aging so your battery health will start to go down from every cycle that you run through your iphone so every day that you use your iphone and then you use the battery and charge it again and use it and charge it again that's going to affect your battery health and it's going to go down and down and down over time there's nothing you can do about that so uh, you have to understand what a battery cycle is in order to understand battery health so as i said the more cycles you use the more your battery uh, health will go down will decrease Okay, that's pretty obvious. And uh, what what is actually a battery cycle? A lot of people get a misconception about this. They think that a battery cycle is when uh, you have your iPhone at 100% and then you use it all the way to zero. So from 100 to zero, you use 100% uh, of your battery, so you get one cycle. That's true, you do get one cycle if you do it like that, but also, if you have your iPhone at 100% and use it to 50, for example, and then charge it to 100 again, and use 50 one more time, that's another cycle. One cycle of battery is when you use 100% of your battery. Doesn't matter how you divide that, in one go, uh, in two goes, in three goes, in four goes, it doesn't matter. What matters is, every time you discharge your battery by 100%, no matter how you do that, that's one cycle. And the more cycles you use, so the more you use your iPhone, the, the worse your battery health will be. So uh, there, there's, no, there's not a simple calculation here, like for example, 50 cycles is 1% or 100 cycles is 2%. It's not like that. What matters is if you, if you want your battery health to decrease slower at a slower rate, you need to use your iPhone less because you need to use less cycle, less cycles, you need to discharge your iPhone less often. That's all you need to do, actually. So, of course, you can see how much battery you use, use a little bit less, but again, you can't really affect your battery health because you can't really affect 
your battery cycle. There's nothing you can do on your iPhone regarding how you charge it or how you use it to actually present, uh, prevent uh, battery cycles to be counted, one, two, and three, and four. I, I believe that's pretty clear, okay? So that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to talk about very, very important information regarding battery uh, charging, iPhone battery charging, and what you should do, what you shouldn't do, debunk a few myths, as I said, and make you understand uh, battery health, cycles, optimize battery charging, how you should charge your iPhone, and all of that. I believe that was pretty pretty, pretty clear, but if you still have questions or something like that, please make sure to hit the comment box below with questions, suggestions, like uh, complaints, I don't know. Hit the comment box below, I'm always around, always answering everybody. Also make sure to hit the like button, it's super important to me, and also the subscribe button with a little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye-bye.